Arrow. What a cool name. Arrow? Yeah, it's just one of those radio names. You know, you're sitting around in Lewistown, Montana, and you're going, what can I do that's different that nobody else has done? And I said, I know. I'll call, my, call myself Arrow. Dude, that's so I cool. It. I love names. I love like it. That. Awesome. <laughs> Man, I, I love, love it. I love what you guys are doing on the Challenge All-Stars on Paramount+. Plus. This is one of those things that creates the water cooler conversation, and then it also challenges us as viewers to go, what can I do that's this exciting? The challenge, it is just tons of excitement, tons of just things that you would never get the opportunity to do in like your in your everyday life. You right. know, even if you go on vacation and go on an, on an excursion or something, it's not close to what we do on this challenge. It is like once in a lifetime opportunities that we get to experience. So how do you mentally and physically get prepared for this? I mean, is it just something, you know, in the form of stream thinking? It's like, yeah, I'm there. I'm going to do it. I think it's best to not overthink it. I think sometimes when, when you go into something like this and you try to plot it out too much, you can end up messing yourself up. So I think it's it's almost better to to not – I feel like you make yourself nervous if you start to really overthink things. So yeah. And you just got to think one one step at a time. Like what is today's challenge? You can't really think the, the next days or, or you just got to do it. You got you to do it that day and then – Really? I think I do the I do the opposite. <laughs> well, it's, but Kim's Kim's a lot smarter than I am. Yeah, her brain can handle it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm chess, not checkers. I'm thinking of like what that final looks like. I'm planning out every move. Like, okay, what if this person wins tomorrow? And like, I literally think of each and every person on the cast. What if they win? How is that going to affect my game? What mm -hmm. if this person ends up here? What if they have a star? Who would you know like i'm i i try to think light years ahead like i'm an overthinker in regards to my strategy mm -hmm. and that's why she's killer cam and i'm just ace <laughs> <laughs> well let me ask you this cam when when you think like that you sound like a martial artist because that's how we're trained to go inside that ring to get that battle over with someone's going home a winner and it's not going to be them exactly exactly and i like to always say and it's so funny because I learned to play chess while I was there. Ace is a big chess player too, so I don't know why he's trying to, to downplay it. Like Ace is an amazing player as well. Social game on point, ev like everything on point. Okay, so I think he's I think he's being very modest. Like I've I've learned a lot from his gameplay as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you do have to think about the short term and long term strategies within the game at all times. With only one person winning this, how do you guys get along with each other right now? Is it just temporary? Oh, I, I think it's uh, like I, I uh, this is my first time ever meeting Leroy. Yeah, and uh, you know, you always, uh, you know, you always see him on TV, thinking, okay, this guy, he might, he might be cool. But I mean, he is seriously the coolest dude I've ever really? been around. Like he's just so funny and witty, and he's just he's constantly thinking and. You know, and we had to go against each other, and it's a, uh, you know, I, and I still I take some probably once every couple of weeks. It's just that uh, it's, you know, the competition, especially with 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 people who've done a lot of them, they understand that it's just a game and there's nothing personal, and they you do what you have to do, but then you know when it's all over with, you're still buddies. You know, that's yeah. that's the true professionals of the group. Mm -hmm. The group are like that. Cam, there, no two days are the same. I mean, the spinning cars, the climbing, the adventure, the challenges. I mean, I mean, how do you embrace so much change when most people don't like change? I think you just kind of have to go with it. I think a part of being a challenger, you don't really know what you're necessarily about to go into. There's no preparation in that sense. You just have to be ready for whatever is going to get thrown at you. You just have to be ready for it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, Ace, when it comes to the challengers at heart taking on those who actually live it, do you study your challengers, the ones you're taking on, in a way of going, okay, I know how I can beat them, and I know how I can get by them so I can get to the next level? Because in, in martial arts, I have to study who I'm taking on in that ring. What about you? Um, you know, it's funny. I got everybody's sign. It's, it's all like their Capricorns, Aries. Like, uh... I, I got their birthdays. I really wanted this. And you know, I, I don't know if you believe in any of that. I barely do, but it is crazy how like you can kind of see personalities and who will fight to the death and who will go with the crowd. And, um, you know, it's, and it's definitely great to watch old shows to kind of see who will 
you know, throw you under the bus if they have a chance. Mm-hmm. I'm good friends mm-hmm. with Johnny Bananas, but I don't trust him at all on the shows. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> now, Cam, can can the rules be rewritten on the spot, or is it like, no, no, we have to play by the rules and stick to the rules? I think all of us, we we try to figure out how can we bend the rules, yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah, We're exactly. just gonna flat out break them, but like, how can we bend them? How can we find a way around, you know? <laughs> yeah, or, or, or just figure out what the rules are and come as close yeah, to, to breaking as, as you could possibly get without. Exactly. I think that's the... Uh... And you have to do that while keeping your emotions intact. You can't be getting out there and, and letting your emotions take over. Absolutely. I think you you definitely have to be in control of your emotions, especially throughout this season. I've seen a lot of people not be able to take control of yeah. their emotions and it sends them right into that elimination. So being yes. able to to lay low and just be an observer, it that that helps. Because for somebody like me, if I'm to see two of my fellow challengers arguing, I'm like, okay, that's it. Let's throw them in, everybody. This is that's mm-hmm. the most amazing excuse to throw two people in. That's yeah. not me. So like let, let's throw them in. So it keeps like, you know, attention away from me as well. <laughs> yeah. For sure. What what have you learned from this, Ace, in the way that, you know, because this is all about the mind, body, and soul. You gotta be taking something from this. Um, I, to me, it's uh, you know, the to not get caught up so much with the prizes or the money and just like to really enhance the experience because the money you know it comes and goes but those those friendships of, that i've made are, are what truly last and are what truly have real value to them so that's that's probably what i would say i gained the most from this experience so and, and just like these challenges is it is it like playing the lottery i mean you're you're taking a big chance when you when you go into these things one at a time oh yeah um yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. I mean, if it, that like for me that I you can't really think about the money on the line. I have to just if I start thinking about what I'm going to do with the quarter of a million dollars, I, I'll just I'll screw up the first day. So I have to really don't even have to. I can't really think about that, or I would just start to get nervous and mess up. So, hmm. what about you, Cam? Yeah, I I definitely agree with Ace. Like it's it's something that you try to not necessarily like think about. You just have to to go with it and go for it. Wow. Wow. You you make television Mm -hmm. watching exciting. I mean, you really do because it's, I'm not just sitting there in my chair. I'm on the edge of my chair with it, with this show on Paramount plus. You're going to be at the edge of your chair the entire (laughs) season and never go into it thinking that you know what to expect because, because you won't, you will be. Yeah. You, you won't know what to expect. Wow. Yeah, this is this is by far the best season I've ever been on. I mean, the things I got to see and, and do, and I mean, like every, I mean, I, I was there, and I can't wait to watch this because it's just this <laughs> yeah. Is, I think it's going to be the best season of the challenge ever. I, I, yeah. I, I swear. And not just because of our challenges, up. but because of our eliminations as well. I also yeah. wanted to yeah. highlight that, like those those eliminations. Some of them were harder than the actual challenges. Well, uh, most of them were harder than the challenges that we had to compete in, wow. to be honest. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys are going to yeah, have to come back to this show. Just- for sure. Yeah, please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is Absolutely. always going to be open for you. <laughs> Love it. We'd love to meet you. Maybe halfway through, we can talk more about it. Let's so. do it. Let's <laughs> <Okay>. do it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You guys be brilliant today, okay? Thank oh, you, thank you so much. Thank you so, so nice much for having me, Carol.